What if falling in love is a result of jealousy and envy vibration? What if the reason it is referred to as falling in love is because you fall into a trap of the illusion of love? Hi, my name is Liliana Martins and welcome to In Your Element TV. Maybe love is just love. To love is to share your feelings with someone without judgment, criticism or restriction. Maybe to love is to want of another what you already have within yourself, that beautiful sensation of happiness and joy. Today we will be working on your spiritual body, which is represented by the fire element. If you are feeling you are falling in love, maybe stop and revise your feelings, your situation, and why this is happening. If it is happening to you, remember to like, subscribe and notify so we can all go through these times together. What if love is a vibration to be shared as opposed to falling in? The trap is described accurately in Wikipedia. Falling in love refers to the development of strong feelings of attachment and love towards another person. The term is metaphorically emphasizing that the process is sudden, uncontrollable and leaves the lover in a vulnerable state, similar to falling ill or falling into a trap. Similar to falling ill, like getting in a bug or falling into a trap like being in prison, the concept, the idea leaves you in an uncontrollable state. Falling in love promotes attachment, weaknesses of the spirit and inability to view things clearly. Maybe. Listen to our latest process, Divine Timing Attachment, to help you release any attachments you might have on the subject. What if that is just the program put in place in your psyche and it runs in the collective to make you feel weak and vulnerable so you are unable to function to your full potential? Put in place by who? You might ask. By propaganda in different forms of media streams, films, cartoons, books, folk stories, etc. What if we are all exposed to daily persuasive forms of thinking and end up changing our collective belief system? Where focus goes, energy grows, it is said. Maybe in the beginning of time, a long, long time ago, people would not fall in love. Maybe the original plan was to share love because we are love. And when you love, your love expands and it becomes so full in your cup, it overflows. Maybe when you meet someone that your heart connects in a very special way, your heart just overflows with the expansion of love. And that expansion causes you to want to share that love with them. Falling in love might have been a distorted concept created by opposed forces to love so you can feel trapped in your own emotions. Your mind, your misery, so the concept of pure love is distorted. Maybe someone somewhere, long, long time ago, over the rainbow, decided to change the course of life by falling in love. And that was the beginning of all the pain and suffering that followed that initial euphoria. Maybe falling in love is a proper fall. Falling into jealousy and envy wanting what belongs to another and interfering with the natural course of action. Maybe. Because if your love expands, spills over, and your initial intention is to share that extra love with someone, there ought to be no sensation of lack, void, or missing the other feeling. Following this thought form, being in love is opposed to falling in love. Being in love is creating more love, growing, expanding, sharing, caring, looking after, being there for, listening, staying, being present, communicating, nurturing, and sharing. Falling in love feels like euphoria, a full sense of happiness, joy, weaknesses, lack of control leading to possession, excessive wish to control, pain, suffering, competition, punishment, criticism and many other emotions that I'm very sure you have experienced in your own time. 
The Power of Love versus the Weaknesses of Falling in Love. The title says it all. Falling in? Why fall in? Be in love instead. Be in a state of pure vibration of love where there is no conditional or unconditional. There is only love. And love you give to anybody, not just your romantic partner, family, friends, colleagues, neighbors. Love is a vibration available to anyone, depending on the frequency of love you wish to be in. And for that, I mean family love, romantic love, friendship love, colleague love, the neighbor next door love, collective love. Depending on the frequency of love, you open yourself up for a different and unique experience. The power of love is always within you. The quality of your experience comes from who you decide to share it with and in what circumstances. Only you can empower yourself to make that decision. If this subject resonates with you, or you have any conscious ideas or requests, suggestions, and you feel we are the right community, we would love to hear from you. Leave us your feedback or a note in the comments box or visit our website. For more content, follow us on any of our social media platforms. See you in the vortex. Goodbye.